Hey everyone, I decided to give the Nerf Hyper Blaster line a second chance to see how or if they improved over time. And between you and me, I had absolutely no idea this blaster existed up to three days ago. So today, here's my review of the Nerf Hyper Impulse 40. I'm that old Nerf guy, welcome to that. Yes, Nerf Hyper. I know what I've said before, this is not foam, this is more like a rubber ball, this is bouncy ball, but they are pretty fun for trick shot. Uh, I kind of like the Rush 40, this is kind of a good pistol, it's a, there's a lot of ammo inside, but the hopper was ish on it because you really had to point the blaster down every time you were priming and the loading door was not that big so you, you could load them quickly but not with the canister at all. Uh, this one, brand new silhouette, reminding me a little of the Ultra 2 silhouette, you know with the lower barrel on the blaster. Uh, there is something, this box is, I mean for a small blaster it's rather big. It's it's a Kronos box and apparently according to this box and the scale on it the blaster fits the whole box. So it's gonna be a big pistol. Much like the Ultra 2, much like the Kronos. But I really want to see this one and there is a new improvement. This goes with the Evolve 100 in their new Hyper Blaster. This one has had an automatic hopper on it, and this one has the same thing. You press a button and apparently it opens very very wide. Let's see if it is better to load the round in. But I really kind of, I, I, I really like the, the color scheme on it. The white is kind of not present, they kind of get rid of it with the last, uh, I don't remember the name, it was 20 round pistol, very very small with a handguard. But this one, yeah, got a nice silhouette to it. Let's open it. This is not that much of a good start for this blaster. Because I just realized this is the Impulse 40 with a 40 round hopper. And like most of the rest of the Hyper series, there is only 30 round coming, coming with it. Meaning, there is not enough to fit it all the way. Maybe to prevent jamming, because that was uh, some issue with other blaster. Huh, let's not lose any more time and open this blaster up. <laughs> oh my god, this, this is huge, this is almost comical, ah, a jam door, and a large one, is there. we have a jam door on each side, okay, that's not bad, is there? Still, there is no hop up. The round, the instruction, and who goggles? Yeah, I like that. So, in that box, we have D. Himpo's blaster itself, and I gotta say, look compared to my hand, this thing is huge. Uh, remind me still a bit of the Ultra 2 for the shape, but this thing is huge. Still got a firm prime, some instruction, uh, safety glasses that seem to be real safety glasses. Hmm, that's cool. I'm gonna test them out. 
in another video and the 30 rounds yeah they don't give you 40 they give you 30 let's load that thing shoot one or two and then we'll go for the full chronograph oh that's the and it doesn't open cool Oh, okay, you just go from one side and it's ambidextrous. Oh, that's neat. That can be very interesting to open your hopper. And I think this is going to be an easy fill. Yeah. Okay, that's an improvement. They really improved that. Now, let me make sure there is around in it because as for the blaster field i would have to say this the blaster have a very smooth finish very good quality but it feel a bit thinner again uh, cutting a little corner to cut cost that's okay that's the rule of the market i guess but this is not maybe not on par with the first line of hyper that they released let me fire one or two in it oh very smooth with round in it a hundred and fifteen point four Let's see if it prime. A hundred and twenty-two. Okay, this is going to be deserving a better chronograph test than this. Let's see how this impulse fetch. I just hit myself. down nope went back up a hundred and twenty two a hundred and twenty two yeah, I think we have a good average even with that outlier a hundred and fourteen FPS a hundred and twenty two max that's not bad I mean, even for Hyper, that's far from bad. Yeah, and that little uh, hopper is kind of nifty on it. Yeah, I don't hate this blaster. The Nerf Hyper Impulse 40. Well, it seems like a very good improvement from the Rush 40. I mean, accuracy wise, it's not worse or better than any uh, non hop up Hyper Blaster. I feel like I have the big uh, Siege 50 Blaster in a pistol size with this one. The quick open upper works really really well I mean they did something really good with it. I'm just scared that it's gonna end up all scratch up because I just did 
a couple of tests and just leave it on the table and it kind of scratch a bit. Nonetheless, uh, construct, uh, build quality, construct, quality of construction is, I would say, okay for Nerf, but it's not really on par with the first wave of Hyper Blaster. Feel a bit thinner, but the the blaster is working flawlessly. If you think just pointing it a little bit down, because this hopper got some nice uh, functionality to it and it kind of worked well. I didn't have any misfire unless I was trying to misfire almost. As long as you slightly tilt the blaster forward, it's gonna prime. Uh, both sides, we got jam doors. Uh, the internal system remind me a lot of the Siege 50 again. And that silhouette, that Ultra 2S silhouette is really kind of growing on me. Uh, fetching up to 120 and higher FPS, this is really a potent blaster. Even if I don't like the rival, the, the sorry, the hyper format that much, this thing is really interesting. They did their homework, everything seems to work. This is not a bad blaster, the rear prime is really smooth and it feels a little like the Nerf Rival Reaper from the Overwatch line uh, for the rear prime. This blaster, yeah, I think it's a good one from Hyper. Uh, I prefer the shape of the Rush 40, but this Impulse 40, yeah, it, it's functioning, it's working, it's a good capacity hopper. I haven't tried to push it, but I could put over 40 round without it jamming, so that's a good point. The other one were not functioning at maximum capacity, sometimes it was unreliable, misfeeding. This one seems to work all the way. No, I don't really have anything bad to say. Oh, and I spotted something I forgot to mention. There is a safety. I really thought this thing was just molded into the blaster, but it seems like it worked. This thing is well made, it, it gave me some surprises, uh, still I don't know why they put Rival Rail on Hyper Blaster, they have no attachment other than the round canister. If you ever put a round canister up there, not only you don't have your sight anymore, but you won't be able to open the hopper. Uh, that's a thing. Other than that, uh, it's fun, they put rails, probably they're gonna bring attachment at some point, I guess. But this is the Hyperline. Uh, this blaster might go on the wall with the other one. I really like the pistol blaster and this one is, I think, really good for an Earth Hyper. Plus the price point, I think it's fair. Now you can e really easily load it from top. Uh, this one was a bit lower than the Rush 40. I think this one was 37 or 38 dollar and the Rush 40 sell originally for like 41 Canadian here. So now I think it's rather a good deal if you are into this Hyperline. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, in the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave for Tag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.